Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. Today I'll be talking about the ultra powerful refrigerator magnet that I made. What it is is a piece of plastic cut out so I could put two neodymium magnets in it. These are extremely powerful and really stick really well as you'll see. First thing I did, I made a uh, draft of it so I could I cut it out on my CNC router. As you can see here, actually the first thing I did was measure the magnets with my calipers and then I measured the stickers that I was going to put on it. Now one mistake that, I'll, that I made that you'll see later is I assumed that these uh, magnets could go in either way, you know, thinking that it was symmetrical, but, you know, I've made this mistake over and over, but the thing is, you know, if you're working in three dimensions, things aren't always as symmetrical as they should be, and you'll see that in a second, but it worked out pretty well. Anyway, here I am cutting out my magnet, or my, my sticker magnet thing, using my Zen Tool, tool Works router, which is always nice to have. Just drew it up and now it's cutting it out. This is a really simple, simple shape. Wow. So it was pretty easy. You know, I, I didn't measure it, but I could have, could have probably calculated the dimensions that the sticker company gave me, but, you know, I had my calipers out, so, so why not? You can see here I actually took a view of it underneath, just seeing how the chips were falling down. I, I thought it was pretty cool and, you know, honestly, the, uh, it almost looks a little bit scary if, you know, you zoom on in on it. So, there it is, sucking the chips up. And so after that was done, it was time to take it out and just clean it up just a little bit. And then I cleaned out my table a little bit and stuck on the yodium magnet in it. I was planning to use a uh, cyanoacrylic glue, but you know what happened? It just stick stuck on there so well I couldn't get it out. So I just decided to go with it, uh, hammered it in, and um, you know stuck it on my bench to test it out. Yeah, one thing, uh, oh, one thing, a mistake I made to begin with. I didn't use like a piece of wood in between it. That really helped both from a you know just a not sticking on it standpoint and from a not damaging it because they did actually damage some of it. So after that was done, I took off some of the birds. And after that, I stuck on, stuck on the sticker itself. This was actually, actually harder than I anticipated. But um, and as you can see, the, the magnets are actually facing the sticker. I meant to face it the other way, but it's not. It didn't really work that way the way I had it set up. So, but you know, even with that, it stuck on really well because the magnets are extremely powerful. So just trying to get the air bubbles out. Didn't get it perfect. So you can see here, it doesn't always stick. I didn't get it on there well, but you know, there I am, just placing it on there with authority. And then sometimes it sticks too. And it even sticks through heavy cardstock. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, uh, please uh, subscribe, like, or even follow on Twitter, at Jeremy S. Cook. Um, thanks for watching, and hope to see you later. Bye.